Welcome to this lesson on Animator. I'm just going to walk through uh, some ways to make some basic shapes and how to manipulate those shapes and also how to convert those shapes to mesh and the importance of that. So let's get started by making a sphere. Uh, click on the sphere tool. When you're making a sphere, find, figure out where you want to center the sphere. Click and drag out. Same thing with a cube. Doesn't matter the size, you can adjust the size later on. Cylinder, find an area, and drag. We'll do the same for a primitive mesh. And the primitive mesh is already converted to mesh. The other ones are not. If you notice, when you click on the other three objects, they're yellow, or they have a yellow outline. While uh, the fourth object is white, which means it's already converted to mesh. All right, let's start with start with the cylinder. With the cylinder, we're going to double click on it and you have some different options. You can change the size, you can change the length, uh, you can change the start diameter. So we can make that 2, and we can have the ending diameter be 20, click OK, and you can see we, we now have a cone. And if we were to take and rotate this object, you can see both sides have an end cap on it, but if you double click on it, you can re remove uh, the end cap if you want, or the one at the start. So, click OK, and now we have a cone, a hollow cone. Could be an ice cream cone, a pylon, whatever. But we made it pretty quickly. You could also change the number of divisions. Like we could change the. And before I do this, I'm going to change views. Right now we're in the smooth shaded view but you can't see the faces very easily so we're going to click on flat shaded it allows us to see all the different faces each object has double click and let's make this into five divisions and you can see how the shape, the shape changes alright uh, when it's still an object you can you can edit the object as a whole very easily, but if you want to convert it to mesh, uh, there are some distinct advantages to that. And when, I'm going to walk through those in a little bit, but first let's go over the other objects. I'm going to double click on the sphere, and here we can change the size, the location, uh, how many divisions. For instance, we'll have four divisions and see how it changes. If you want to have a geodesic shape, and let's do four divisions, and there we have it. Looks completely different. And if you want to center it, center it, you can change the location. You can have the x, y, and z all set to zero, and it goes directly in the middle. All right, for the cube, right now it's just one, one cube one face on each side. So we're going to double, we're going to change that. Change the number of faces. And we can see how it changed. Maybe you want to change the width of it, or the height, or the depth. You know, have a different shape. So you can change the object as a whole, but you can't change uh, sides uh, one at a time or individual points. To do that, it has to be converted to mesh. So we're going to go to a different view, which is wireframe. And while in the wireframe view, uh, I'm going to change modes to point edit. And if you notice the one that's already a mesh, you can see the individual points. You can also select individual lines uh, and sides or faces to do this you switch this way. Right now it's at points, I'm going to keep it that way because I'm going to select an individual point and move that point. Now let's change the view to flat shaded and you can see how it's changed. To do the same with the rest of the objects, we have to first go back to the object edit mode, select the full object. It's, so we're going to select a full object. We're going to select a sphere. And you can't go back. Once you 
once you turn it into a mesh, you can't go back. So we're going to go build, convert to mesh, and see it's white around the outside. And now I can select sides, faces, lines, and edit those individually. Uh, I'm going to, so let's go back to the wireframe view, and I'm going to select faces, and I'm going to use drag select. So let's try this. Dra drag across all of them. Now they're all selected. You can do a lot of different things. You could extrude the faces. What I'm going to do is uh, make each one to a point using the peak faces tool. So I'm going to click and go in or out. Let's go. That's a bit much. All right. Let's check out a different view. And now we have a spike ball. We made, and we made it extremely quickly. All right, we could do the same thing with the other two shapes as well. You could grab any of the points, lines, or, or faces and move them around as you wish. Uh, you can also smooth objects once they're a mesh. And I'll show you by, we'll select this object. Let's go to build and subdivide faces. Click OK. And while it makes more faces, it also smooths any sharp edge you have. Let's go to uh, the smooth shaded view. And we now have an egg. There's other ways of making eggs uh, as well, but this is just one of the many ways you can make a random shape and, and change shapes, manipulate shapes. So let's go, let's add some color. Let's go to material. I'm going to go to orange. Uh, I can find a better orange than that. That's good enough for now. Okay, click OK. Find the object I want to apply it to. Click apply. If you want to apply it to a se second object, you could. And whatever you do the color from now on uh, changes with it. If I want to make it shinier, I can go to specular. It's at point 0.2 right now. I'm going to make it 1, which is, of course, higher than point 0.2. And you can see it's shinier. And when I rotate an object, you can see how the shine gleams off it. If you want to add color to another object, you just make a new color. Select, select the object you want to add color to. Click apply, and there it is. That's it. All right, always make sure you save your work. Uh, save, save the full project. Go to File and Save As, and you'll you'll save it as an animator file, which you can open up at any time and continue on editing it. Uh, I recommend you save it anytime you get to a tough point in a project. Uh, you can also save it as images, so you can send off an uh, an image of what you're working on. To do that, you go to Render, Render Image. Choose a background color, click OK, and there you have it. And to save it, let's say as a JPEG, you'd click Save. And make sure you're using the, the Save over here. Click on JPEG, type in the file name. Uh, you can obviously choose a location where you want to save it. Once you choose that location, uh, click OK. And that's it. That's here's a few ways you can make different shapes and change the shapes and convert convert your shapes to a mesh, and just get started on the software to uh, play around a little bit. I hope this helps.